Namaste angels. I'm here to do a client reading. I read for this couple before. Um, I'm beginning with blessings with the universal love oracle opening to the goddess. This one about counting your blessings and the goddess about surrendering to the universe. Expectancy about letting go of our expectations. Um, so not quite what it looks like it is. Um, it's about releasing the limitations that we place upon the universe with our like small ideas. And you know, what we ask for is not nearly what the universe can provide us. So we sort of limit it and stifle it when we ask for specific things in a specific way, this guides us to cease to do that. I've come to soulmate and picking up the cards. So that's always nice to see. Right in the beginning and healing sounds is your overall energy. The feminine with relation to herself, with relation to the union, eternal flame. So she's feeling uh, fully immersed um, in the situation. But the masculine with regard to her answered prayer. Beautiful, like the woman of you know his dreams, essentially. The masculine with regard to himself, with relation to the union, celebration. So he's probably taken some strides, made some strides is what I'm feeling um, in making this more of a 3D relationship because he's made strides in healing himself and in his own life, his own personal life. So he knows that that means that that's also strides toward the union and he's proud of himself basically. With regard to the union, sacred union, boom. <laughs> Overall, moon tree, this is a card of sacred marriage. And the outcome is inner child. So some healing uh, maybe that comes from this continuing to grow, but we know what we're going toward. Ultimately, this is what we're growing toward. Um, at least in the, the eyes of the masculine. This is from his perspective. Now what, I didn't put the cards of what he would have the feminine do or surrender toward the union, um, making this sort of thing happen. Transmutation. So he just wants her to continue her rise. He sees that she's got some work to do as well, um, but that, that it's happening, that she is on the rise. He wants her to continue upward. Um, what's he willing to do or surrender in addition to what that already completely surrender to the universe? This is feminine energy of surrender as well. Uh, when the moon is involved and of course the goddess is involved. So he's going to draw on that, his inner feminine, not just inner child, but inner feminine and maybe do some healing specifically in that area. And what the universe would have the two of them to do or surrender toward the union the mystic. So this is paying better attention to your um, intuition and other gifts that one may have in receiving messages from the universe and, you know, not being so stuck in the third dimension. So you got soulmate, you got sacred union, you got moon tree, you got eternal flame. That should make you happy.
According to the angel tarot, beginning with the world and Archangel Michael, a job well done. Joy, contentment, and, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment. So this is similar to your transmutation. It's like continuing onward and upward. Opening to the seven of water. A complex decision. The need to do research. Stop procrastinating. The world is back. The world is about... It could very well be about a third energy, maybe specifically three people um, involved. Not necessarily a love triangle, but it can be that too. Um, but it's about the end, basically, of whatever this third energy is. So, and it can be pretty much anything. It can be a job. It can be a relationship. It can be anything that was just like sort of long, drawn out, trying in many ways and, you know, You've completed it. You've completed, you've completed the phase. And that's reason to be celebratory as well. Um, you know, so maybe the masculine is aware that he's made it through a phase as well um, in his self-improvement. That he's completed that, a stage in his life. So you're eased out of that stage by the universe. And then so you can be eased into another one. That's what the world is all about. Opening out to the four of fire. Contentment, peace, and abundance a happy home life and the successful completion of a project. So both of these indicate, you know, the, the end of a phase, but the four of fire also about commitment, um, could be marriage, maybe like the sacred marriage. We just saw the world back. I'll go one more. It's the king of fire who's motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader. Take advice from someone creative. The king of fire is the quintessential divine masculine, the tarot. He can also be a Leo Aries or Sagittarius specifically, but it doesn't have to be, um, it can be someone just taking on those attributes for a time as well. King of fire back. I'm going to cut. And it's the page of earth who can be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn or somebody taking on those attributes of behaviors. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging and maybe even a new area of study, like going to school or changing your major. Or um, This could be life lessons too. That could be a new area of study. You know, it doesn't have to be so literal. Uh, also, the page of earth is scholarly in general, dependable, patient, and successful. Overall energy is that seven of water that popped up before and the complex decision that has to be made by one or both of them. There's a need to do research, you know, to look further, um, maybe also even including paying attention to your intuition. Um, just get moving on it, basically, one way or another. Masculine is the knight of fire who's passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. And like the king that showed up before, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Surrounded by strength, which is also a Leo, or perhaps Sagittarius or Aries or someone taking on those attributes. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments. Instead, exercise some forgiveness and compassion. In the masculine subconscious, the lovers with Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions. So this could be connected to the decision that is the overall energy of the seven of water. Also good health. The feminine, the page of fire, outgoing, creative, confident, and mischievous. Also Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, like the knight, like the strength card, like the king. Uh, news of an exciting new endeavor. The page of fire brings us news of an opportunity, basically. Use your originality and ingenuity. Surrounded by ego with Archangel Joe Fiel, who is like the page of earth that showed up before, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, a false sense of entrapment. 
being overly focused on material things and negative or fear-based thoughts. So this can be being stuck um, in something like a situation or feeling stuck at least in a situation um, or and or manifesting negativity into our life just by what we keep thinking. We keep thinking the wrong, the negative, the dark, um, you know, as opposed to the positive side. In the feminine subconscious, it's the dreamer with Archangel Metatron. This is actually the fool in the traditional tarot, um, major arcana card, the fool, zero. A leap of faith, follow your dreams. That leads to unexpected opportunities. This card in this deck, um, for me, relates to the planet Mercury and therefore tends to show up when there's a Gemini, uh, which the lovers represents, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra, or a Virgo involved, which again, the devil represents, ego is the devil in this deck, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Crowning. It's the five of water. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped, not seeing the positive in the situation and crying over spilled milk. This is, oh, woe is me. You know, I don't have everything the way I asked for it or I don't see that I do. Sometimes we do and we don't see that we do. At the root. The ace of earth, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, and important documents or contracts. This may be related to the decision because the, the lovers can certainly be about a decision as well, um, as is the seven of water. It's about a new beginning. So you maybe have to decide, do I, am I willing to take this opportunity that the page of fire has delivered me? Um, yeah, am I up for, do I want this opportunity? Do I have what it takes to take the leap of faith or am I, am I gonna allow myself to feel um, stuck and bound to something else that's gonna prevent me from taking on this new divine beginning from the heavens? At the heart of the matter, the queen of fire, who is confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. The queen, like the king and the page and the knight, all those, uh, the whole court showed up here, um, is a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. She is confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful, and the quintessential divine feminine of the tarot. So all of this revolves around her. I'm going to clarify the five of water. It's the wheel with Archangel Michael, a time of positive change. The situation suddenly moves forward. So just like the, the night of fire said that something sudden had happened, unexpected. There's an opportunity arose out of nowhere, basically. Um, and so the night of fire had to take off. The five of water is maybe not having realized yet that that, that opportunity is on its way. But sure enough, again, something sudden happens. Maybe involving the planet Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius um, and karma. Something changes your fortune and a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side now. The wheel can be connected to the signs of Sagittarius. Um, Cause again, this card relates to the planet Jupiter. Jupiter rules Sagittarius, but it can also be connected to the fixed signs. So Leo um, as well, or maybe Scorpio, water. Aquarius, air. And I thought about Aquarius earlier when I saw the mystic, which again was your overall, what the universe wanted you to surrender as a couple um, and begin to use and pay closer attention to your intuition. I'm, I'm looking at the star on her forehead that says Aquarius to me. So there could be an Aquarius involved um, or perhaps a Taurus getting back to the earth that's here. I'm going to go on to, well, you know what? I'm not, I'm going to pull a card for the devil, the 10 of air, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now. You may even be recovering from an addiction. Somebody could be in a relationship, not necessarily romantic, but in some sort of relationship to which they feel bound um, within, you know, for whatever reason, even if it's a friendship, um, with an air sign. And that could be why the lovers showing up here again about a decision that needs to be made. But now the 10 of air 
um, expressing that there's been some difficulty. There's been some maybe even backstabbing and hurt um, in this situation, possibly involving an earth sign, um, but that coming to an end now. Earth, air. Um, yes, and now the next card is upside down. So now I'll go on to the romance cards. Beginning with make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And opening to children. Your love life is being affected by children. Seven of water can also be related to children. That can be even related to pregnancy, not necessarily children that are actually here. Um, like a decision to become pregnant, to try to get pregnant, to go forward with a pregnancy that was unexpected and surprised, um, all of those things. Make the effort back. Opening now to very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Make the effort. And you deserve love. You are lovable. Make the effort. Lastly, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This can apply to either or both. Sometimes we have cords attaching us. You might say, well, I, I, me and my ex broke up a long time ago. Sometimes we have cords um, of negative emotion and or um, attachment keeping us bound at a soul level to these people. Make the effort back. I've got one more. It's honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And you're getting all my cards that sort of signify that something may happen for you um, next week in this relationship. Um, or, you know, on or around the honeymoon, which is also the same day as the Jupiter um, retrograde, the day that Jupiter goes direct could be <sighs> okay so i opened again um after i had said i wasn't going to and it's back to children so definitely something going on uh involving a child or children And back to release your ex. So, so definitely something going on here with um, some cords of attachment as well. On um, again, one side, the other, or both even. And that could have something to do with the decision as well. Decision here with the lovers and or the seven of water can be about you know, like whether or not to free yourself, which is your overall energy, whether or not to cut away um, at the cords that have made you, caused you to feel bound to someone, something, some place that's negative and not for you. It's toxic for you. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's your overall energy. Atop the night of fire, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Atop strength, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is like the strength to make it through the forgiving and learning. Um, as I was saying before, with the page of earth, that learning and going to school could be like the school of hard knocks, a school of life, you know, that can come into play with forgiving and learning too. It doesn't have to be actual school, although that can be too. So, and sometimes these things have more than one meaning, these cards. Keep an open mind um, is about, even if, it's about being, but with, the, with the forgiving and learning, um, how a person can tend to feel like there's no, they don't have a shot anymore. They don't have a chance. That comes into play. Uh, and also, of course, there are differences. That's part of divine unions. There's 
always at least one stark difference between the two partners. Um, and it's something that we have to overcome because it's something that um, perhaps society would frown on a Muslim and a Jew. Um, you know, someone's white, someone's black. Uh, <laughs> someone's you know skinny and someone's fat and you know why would you want someone that bony why would you want somebody you know that fluffy <laughs> you know what i mean there's always something that um yeah society frowns upon that is a stark difference between the two and it's something that they have to overcome the, the two of them at least one thing there's age all kinds of things um in any case atop the lovers Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this decision could be coming right on time, as they say. The feminine. Atop the page of fire, this opportunity that comes your way. It's an opportunity for you to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's not necessarily all that the opportunity holds. Again, I think it holds something else. Um, other abundance karma based abundance coming from the fortune and Jupiter. Um, but it also affords you an opportunity to express your love atop the 10 of air and the ego or devil card is flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So one of the things you could be bound to, or, you know, is basically your own thoughts, your own negativity, um, and spirit guiding you to turn that around and instead flirt, express your love. Maybe thinking you, you're, you know, you can't do that. You're unable, but you're like restricting yourself to take us all the way back to the beginning of the reading, the expectations card. It's like limitations, self-imposed limitations here atop the dreamer, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you're guided to take the leap of faith and the romance angels come in to double down on that and say, yes, that's what you're guided to do. If you want this situation atop the wheel, um, which clarified the five of water very soon. If you clearly decide what you want here's this decision coming into play again, it comes to you now very soon. Again, it could be very easily connected to Jupiter. Um, and that period of time on or around June 9th. Atop the ace of earth, trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So if you have the trust and the faith in the new beginning, um, that could direct you, encourage you to go ahead and make the effort and take this leap of faith that you're also guided to take. It may have to be, you know, a long time coming longer than you expected, longer than you anticipated, longer than you would have wanted all of that, but worth waiting for. And at the heart of the matter, boom, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, that does it for me. Um, with honeymoon sitting here underneath the wheel of fortune, I'm thinking the honeymoon, which is the same day that Jupiter goes direct June 9th on or around then, um, you will have an opportunity to express your love, to flirt, to make the effort toward your union, to make the decision overall. What am I doing? Am I committing to this? Am I going to keep going back and forth, you know, and today I'm with it because he seems with it, but when he doesn't seem with it, you know, I drop out and I, I, you know, lose interest or I decide I want to move on. We got to stop that. Um, so here I'm talking to anybody who's listening because, you know, it, it happens in every union where we do this back and forth thing, particularly on the side of the feminine, uh, you know, based on his behavior. It cannot be based on his behavior. That's not what unconditional love means. Unconditional love means love without condition, even the condition of him behaving other than you would have liked saying the things other than what you would have said and what you wouldn't wanted to hear, you know, what, and regardless of what he's doing, if you're committed to your soul contract with the universe, what you need to do is follow your guidance and not worry about his, let the universe worry about that. Again, let go of the limitations and expectations that we place on the universe. Let's see what the ascended masters will add to this beginning with take charge of the situation and Moses opening to father, husband, brother, son, Osiris. 
take charge of the situation back. Open it to work your magic in Saint Germain. So father, husband, brother, son is a card about the need to heal a relationship with a masculine energy in your life. And that can be your own, even for the feminine or the female. Work your magic is back. Opening to see the other person's point of view. This applies between partners. This applies between, you know, with, to the others in your life that may be impacted and or involved. Looking at, taking a step back and looking at everybody's point of view. And now I've opened to yoga and Babaji, um, which tends to be about meditation or the need to do some meditation for me. Work your magic back. I'm going to cut. Choose peace. So this is about coming from a place of, again, unconditional love and compassion whenever you deal with any of these issues. Um, whatever this may have to do with, whatever the situation potentially involving children is, um, if there's an actual ex that's a person as opposed to an energy or a cord that needs to be cut, you know, it's choosing peace all around. And Kuan Yin says, let it go. That's your overall energy. Atop forgiving and learning, Serapis Bay says, go now. Um, and this was the night, <laughs> both of these cards also atop the night of fire that was going now. He had a sudden event that he needed to handle. And he was taking off running. Serapis Bay approving of that. Here atop the strength is health and healing. So, and it sits here underneath the forgiving and learning. This is all part of that school of hard knocks, basically. Um, and dealing with, with, with life's unexpected um, turn of events and things too. The strength to make it through whatever is going on. Um, and to do that from a place of compassion, a place of peace, choosing peace that works out best for everybody. Here a top worth waiting for and the lovers balance career and home life says Al, um, Isis. So that could give another meaning to this lover's card since it's a decision. It can be a decision about the number of hours you put into work, you know, or school and other business, um, as opposed to your relationships and home and things of that nature. Here atop, express your love and the page of fire. You are seeing this situation accurately, says Horace. So if you keep seeing and, you know, these, this guidance that you otherwise may have ignored, um, which would explain why the universe felt it fitting to come in and say that's what they would have you do is to pay better attention to your intuition. Know that you're seeing it accurately and you are supposed to, um, you know, let go. As Kuan Yin says of like your inhibitions and the limitations you've placed on yourself, the, the binding you've wrapped yourself in, you're feeling bound to, whatever. Um, you're seeing the situation accurately that you need to let go of all that and just like participate in your own love life um, willingly, you know, not like sort of, <sighs> yeah, basically this, <laughs> basically this. Open your heart to love, says Jesus. And this showing up now atop the flirt uh, and the devil where you were feeling bound and restricted. It's your heart that's restricted. It's you keep you know, like taking it back, putting it out, taking it back, putting it out. You, again, you have to decide um, whether or not you're committing to this situation and this relationship. A top, um, make the effort. And the dreamer, all about that leap of faith. Archangel Michael says, you can do it. 
So whatever that leap of faith you, with which you've been presented is, Archangel Michael here to see you through that. Crowning, he can also help you to cut this cord, whatever is here, this that's holding you back too. Crowning, a top very soon, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune is focus upon your strengths and Apollo. Very nice. Another sign of abundance here atop this ace of earth. Um, so the trust was also atop that. And maybe you not having the faith that this abundance that you need, um, be it financial, material, and or love, um, is coming. Here comes the green man to double down on that message and say, retreat to nature. So this is also about meditation, but it's, it's meditation toward unblocking your blessings because he also shows up whenever you see the green man to tell you about um, impending abundance, soon to come abundance of, of, all, of all sorts. This is the financial, the material, and also love. That's why he's here with this little heart and these fairies. At the heart of the matter, atop the honeymoon and the queen of fire flow of prosperity. So if you still didn't believe it, here comes Lakshmi to say yes, the flow of prosperity opening up your karma, um, allowing that to happen. And all you got to do is take a few steps. You got to open yourself to receive it, right? The masculine's healing to receive it. You're opening your heart to receive it. So you're healing as well. And then boom, there it is. The masculine device from the universal love oracle is love. Um, so he's got it to continue moving forward toward the love. For you, it's heaven on earth. You have to let go of something. Another. Now they're doubling down on this devil, this ego card. You have to let go of something that's holding you back to allow for something new. To allow for your new beginning, you have to let go of the old. Okay, just as Kuan Yin said, let it go. That's your advice there. From the... Angels to the masculine, the six of earth, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, and receiving a loan or paying off debts. As this card relates to love, it's all about purely unconditional love. Giving again um, and receiving, but freely and unconditional. No ties, no strings, just because. Um, yours <laughs> is another card of, that reflects, this is almost like exactly like the devil. This is another card that reflects that one is bound to someone, something, someplace, or a combination of those. An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence. So again, you could be bound to you, your own limitations that you've built up. Um, being afraid to take action, being afraid to take the loop of faith that Archangel Michael says you can. From the romance angels to the masculine engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. The romance angels to you, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. From the ascendant masters to the masculine, clear and shield your energy. So I think that has to do with whatever this healing is um, and the forgiving and learning. Perhaps, again, involving something involving children or family. He needs to do that. Um, also getting now, it could be, he could be, or you guys could be, either one or both, the children. This could be inner child stuff. Um, something from childhood that you did not heal that's still open. That's one of the things that's holding you back. He needs to clear and shield his energy. And the uh, ascended masters say to you, write with thought. Uh, writing can be releasing all of these things that are holding you back. You write down all your worries, all your cares, all your goals, all your whatever, and put it into a God box. Um, or if you're like me, set it afire. And this will help you to unblock yourself and to allow for the flow of prosperity. I hope that you find your reading helpful and that you enjoy it, dear. Namaste, angel.